Nova Scotia's first responders, a proud and dedicated team of professionals connected together by a radio communication system. A system that is specifically designed for use by public safety officials and teams across Nova Scotia. This radio system is taking a bold and innovative step into the future, offering first responders and public safety officials greater coverage, greater reliability, and greater clarity of communications, all on a P25 industry standards-based system. TMR2 is a, is a very exciting step. It uh, refreshes a very good system. TMR1 provided us with a great level of service. We're now moving into our next level with TMR2, and it's an exciting future. Welcome to the world of TMR2. Since 2000, Nova Scotia's first responders have communicated on a system called Trunk Mobile Radio, or TMR. The next generation of this network, TMR2, represents a major enhancement in radio communications, a fully digital network using the fiber optic network. First responders will notice the benefits right away. On the old TMR system, voices could be scratchy and difficult to understand. With TMR2, signal quality will sound more like this. Should be radio from EMO3, over. The improvement has a lot to do with the new fully digital network. It also has to do with expanded coverage. TMR2 is supported by more communication towers, allowing you to roam throughout the province with clear, seamless communication. The system will provide enhanced communications for first responders in Nova Scotia. It will provide digital coverage, which is a much clearer signal for first responders. As well, there's enhanced coverage with the addition of several towers, which will improve the footprint of communications in the province. So more towers means uh, better communication throughout our province, which is largely rural. Uh, and in the past, we had large portions of our province where communication wasn't possible. In the new system, we have greater capability where we can speak more clearly throughout the entire province. TMR2 offers another powerful benefit. It's called interoperability. Uh, what interoperability means to the fire service and to all emergency responders, including police, EMS, um, any public safety officials that are responding to an incident, is that they can communicate on one common radio system. All those agencies can use the same radio system and communicate en route to the scene. So in such an incident, the communication center would make contact with the ambulance and give directions to uh, move to, a, to an assigned talk group. Roger, and I'm going to get you to switch to uh, Mutual Aid 3, please, on route there. We're going to run uh, off that talk. Mutual Aid 3, copy. All those agencies can use the same radio system to switch over to that talk group and communicate en route to the scene. And what that would allow us to do is to speak with other agencies uh, that might be responding to the incident and speak more clearly to other, via other ambulances which are responding as well. Typically you go into most constituencies or, or most provinces or municipalities or, or even all across the United States you'll see many different agencies responding to an emergency site using separate radio systems. In Nova Scotia we're kind of leading the way uh, having everybody on the same system and they can very easily uh, intercommunicate. You might as fire from Bravo 8. Some of the challenges we have, especially in rural Nova Scotia, is finding locations. So we, uh, sometimes the fire service or the police uh, service may know where a incident is located and they're able to communicate that with uh, going through the respective dispatch centers. They can communicate directly to the responding units. Just looking for better uh, directions to that location. Are you familiar with the area? Roger. Are you familiar with the big stop? 10 4 a.m. Okay, Roger on the 101 connector highway underneath the overpass at exit 12. Okay, Tim four, I'm about a minute away. DHS to minus fire. Copy that, to minus fire. Thanks for the update. You show us approximately one minute out. Roger. Copy that. Over. Thanks to the power of interoperability, you only need one radio to communicate with dozens of agencies. Interoperability, 
seamlessly connecting agencies in times of crisis, a defining feature of TMR2. But this feature depends on everyone using the system properly. So let's take a moment to review your responsibility. The TMR2 network has a shared zone of talk groups and channels. This zone contains eight shared mutual aid talk groups. These talk groups are assigned to agencies during an emergency. Your job comes down to one simple rule. If multiple agencies are responding to an emergency, find out if a mutual aid talk group has been established. To do this, contact your dispatch center and advise them that you want to be notified if a talk group has been assigned. Now with TMR2, there's only one other rule to remember. Only monitor talk groups that you have an operational requirement to do so. Monitoring a talk group outside your responsibility can actually tie up the system. The province will be closely monitoring usage on this new system. I mean, we have to realize that this is a shared radio system and that there are only a certain amount of resources. So it's imperative then that you listen to make sure that if you're going to go to a mutual aid perspective, that you go to your appropriate mutual aid channel so that you actually have the ability to speak to those other first responders. But the other thing is, is that we then don't have multiple talk groups at one scene. And that could very easily uh, time out of sight and basically take the communication system down. When you're heading to an emergency, it's always good to have backup. With TMR2, you also have backup with your radio communications. TMR2 comes with three shared simplex channels. A simplex channel is a channel that first responders can switch to that communicates radio to radio and doesn't go through the tower sites. So it almost serves as an assurance. So if you're in an area where there's poor coverage, responders can switch to the simplex channel and continue communication with other first responders on scene. Welcome to the world of TMR2, a powerful new system with so many features and benefits. This video is simply an introduction to this system. You can learn more about it online or request a workshop. Take the time to know and understand TMR2, your assignment and your life may depend on it.